strike while the iron is hot. This proverb has its roots in blacksmithery. To shape iron, it is easier to do it when it is hot. The hotter, the better. The saying tells you to take action in favorable circumstances because they can change very quickly and it might not be as easy to achieve success later. Honesty is the best policy. This proverb tells you that people appreciate the truth in all circumstances. If you tell the truth, you will win the respect of others. A proverb is a didactic saying, a commonly repeated statement that teaches a moral lesson or gives everyday advice. Every language has them, but sometimes it seems as though English has an unusually large number. Many proverbs are quite old and have been used for hundreds of years. Strike while the iron is hot, for example, comes from the blacksmith's trade, which is not so common these days. We've gathered together 50 of the most common proverbs, and we guarantee that if you learn these, you'll hear them often in English conversation. Are you ready? It is no use locking the stable door after the horse has bolted. This proverb speaks about taking action when it is too late. If your aim was to keep your horse safely locked in its stable, it is too late to achieve this if you only lock the door after the horse has escaped. In real life, this could apply to many situations. For example, say you want to learn a new language because you are going to work in another country. You must do this before you leave and not once you arrive in the country because by this point it will be too late. A bird in hand is worth two in the bush. This famous proverb may seem a little complicated at first glance, but it talks about the value of the things that we already have compared to the value of things that we wish for. A good example would be turning down the offer of a great job when you don't have one already because you think that you might end up getting a better offer, but this isn't certain. It would have been better to take the first offer because that is a certainty. A leopard never changes its spots. The meaning here refers to a personality trait of someone, usually not a very good one. The proverb indicates that once someone has a certain trait, they will never be able to change it. This proverb is often used when talking about someone who has been unfaithful in their relationship. If they have cheated once, they are likely to do it again, prompting the saying, a leopard never changes its spots. All that glitters is not gold. A regularly used proverb, this talks about things not being as good as they first appear. For example, a person might dream about living in the huge mansion at the end of the street, but in reality, the cost of running that mansion is a whole other set of problems. The house might look amazing, but in truth it isn't as great as it first appears. A stitch in time saves nine. This interesting proverb talks about not cutting corners in order to save yourself a bit of time, because in the end, these cuts will catch up with you and will leave you with considerably more work than you would have had if you had done the job properly in the first instance. For example, if you are fitting some water pipes, but do not screw them into place tightly enough because you want to save a bit of time, Eventually, those pipes will start to leak, and as well as fixing them, you will have the added job of cleaning up the water. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. 
Simply put, this means that what one person finds beautiful, another may not. For example, John finds his dog the most beautiful animal in the world, but his friend Arthur does not think she is beautiful at all. Each person sees beauty in different things. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. This proverb talks about the envy of things that other people have or that you wish you could have. Let's say, for example, that you live on the east side of town and your friend lives on the west. Looking at your friend's life on the west side of town, you see how wonderful it is. You wish that you had that kind of life. However, when you decide to move to that different part of town, it isn't what you thought it would be, and you realize that your previous home was much better for you. Something that looks great from afar may not be what you think once you get closer. Be happy with what you already have. Never judge a book by its cover. When you hear this proverb, it is not simply referring to something that you read. It is talking about how we should not make a judgment on someone based on their outward appearance. You should never make a judgment about something or someone simply based on first impressions. In many circumstances, you will find out that you are wrong. A bad workman always blames his tools. This proverb is used when talking about someone who blames the bad job that he has done on the tools he has been using, when in reality, the job was done badly by him. For example, if a doctor had given a patient the wrong diagnosis, he might say that it was because his stethoscope had malfunctioned, when really he simply hadn't taken the time to examine the patient properly and had therefore made the error himself. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. The meaning behind this proverb is that having some distance from something or someone that we love can actually cause us to care for that thing or person even more. If, for example, you had to take a trip without your partner whilst you were away, you would miss that person and the desire to be around them would grow, therefore making you even more fond of them than you were in the first instance. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. While this proverb is not talking about a literal chain, it does refer to a situation or group of people that will crumble when the weakest part of that group crumbles. A good example of this would be if a group were to build a human pyramid, there could be 14 very strong people who will build the pyramid and keep it standing. But a 15th person who was weaker than the rest might falter and cause a snowball effect, making the rest of the pyramid collapse. In essence, the proverb teaches us that in any situation, we should make sure that all components are strong or else the entire operation will fail. Actions speak louder than words. This proverb refers to the fact that we can say things we do not mean, but in order to prove them, we need to take physical actions. Be a man of your word. People trust what they see, not what they hear. People will judge you by your actions. Be careful of talking too much for people will expect you to follow up. A rolling stone gathers no moss. This proverb is talking about how if a person rumbles through life without ever stopping, they will gain nothing from life and no experience or benefit from it. It could be applied to a lot of areas of life, such as relationships, but a good example would be of somebody who constantly switched their job, moving from career to career, without ever staying in one long enough to take any of the benefit from it or gain any experience in the field.
A barking dog rarely bites. You might hear this proverb when referring to someone who appears to be a threat but in reality is not. For example, this may be used if someone looks physically aggressive, either by their outward appearance or the things that they say, but when it comes to confrontation, they back away. A proverb that is linked to this one but means the same is, his bark is worse than his bite. Beauty is skin deep. Similar to the proverb above, this one talks about a person's outward appearance not aligning with their true personality. It means a person who may appear physically beautiful on the outside, but has less than desirable inner personality traits. For example, you could use this proverb when talking about a supermodel who, despite being outwardly gorgeous, is rude and obnoxious to those she works with. Blood is thicker than water. This proverb essentially means that family ties are stronger than any other type, using blood as the literal term for a relative, that is, you share the same DNA. A good example of when to use this would be if a family member and a close friend had a disagreement. You might decide that despite being impartial in the argument, you are going to take the side of the family member because blood is thicker than water. Every dog has his day. When someone uses this proverb, they are talking about the fact that every person despite their situation, or how fortunate they may be, or may not be, will have a moment of success at some point. For example, if someone who is unlucky in love suddenly meets his soulmate, you might use this proverb. Give him an inch and he will take a mile. This proverb refers to a situation where you show a little generosity to a person and they take advantage of that generosity by taking more than you have offered. An example of this type of situation would be if a man were to loan his friend some money and allowed him a longer time than usual to pay it back, and the friend kept returning and asking for more money and more time. Good things come to those who wait. This is a very simple proverb which reminds us that patience will reward us in the end. For those who rush into things and expect a quick outcome, this is unlikely, but for those who take their time and are willing to wait for their reward, this proverb is fitting. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. This proverb is referring to a situation when someone might take it upon themselves to try to alter something that is already working perfectly fine, and in doing so, may actually cause problems that were not there in the first place. Let's take, for example, the system for a gardening company that is always on time and always completes the work to a great standard. Everything within the company is running smoothly. There is no need to make any adjustments to how the company is run. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. There is no use in crying over spilt milk. This means that once a mistake has been made, there is no point in dwelling on it. Moving on is the easiest option. When something is done, it's done. You can't change the past. Yes, it may have been bad, but complaining about it will change nothing. Laughter is the best medicine. This proverb means that even in hard times, focusing on something positive will help you through. For example, if you have just had an accident and caused yourself a serious injury, which has left you bedbound for a period of time, you are not going to feel any better by feeling sorry for yourself. But if you invite a friend over and laugh and enjoy one another's company, your spirits will be lifted. Many hands make light work. 
this one is pretty straightforward and easy to understand. The more people work together, the faster and easier a task will be. Two hands are better than one, four hands are better than two, and so on. Strike while the iron is hot. This proverb has its roots in blacksmithery. To shape iron, it is easier to do it when it is hot. The hotter, the better. The saying tells you to take action in favorable circumstances because they can change very quickly and it might not be as easy to achieve success later. Honesty is the best policy. This proverb tells you that people appreciate the truth in all circumstances. If you tell the truth, you will win the respect of others. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. This is a common saying. It means that people always think other people are happier, more successful, living better lives than you. In many cases, this is not true. The lesson is to be grateful for what you have. Better late than never. It simply means that finishing a task is important, even if you are late. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Don't show disrespect to the person you are dependent upon. If someone offers you help, don't get angry with them. They are trying their best. Rome wasn't built in a day. The most important things in life take time. Don't be in a hurry. Still waters run deep. This is an interesting one. You will hear this said about intelligent but socially awkward people. It's a little like don't judge a book by its cover. It simply means that a person may be quiet but still may be very interesting or profound once you get to know them. Curiosity killed the cat. A polite way of telling someone to mind your own business. Pay attention to your own life. Ignore things that don't concern you. You could be harmed by being too curious about or too interested in something that doesn't concern you. My hands are tied. This simply means that I cannot do anything to help. It paints a pretty vivid picture. If your hands were tied, there isn't a lot you could do to help anyone. Out of sight, out of mind. This proverb means that we tend to forget about things we cannot see or hear. Easy come, easy go. Any money that you don't have to work hard for will disappear as easily as you got it. This is regularly used in reference to gambling. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. To achieve anything in life, you will encounter a few problems. Sometimes you will have to make a few sacrifices or cause a few problems in the short term to achieve a greater long-term goal. The forbidden fruit is always the sweetest. Doing something that you know you shouldn't always feels good. Just thinking about the act can make you feel good. If you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. If you help me, I will return the favor and help you. It's the tip of the iceberg. When it comes to icebergs, the vast majority of the ice is below the water level. We cannot see the whole iceberg, only the tip. This proverb is used to describe encountering problems when trying to do something, but finding that the bigger issue is that this particular problem isn't the worst one you will encounter. It is highly likely that far worse issues lie ahead. Learn to walk before you run. A common proverb, it means that you need to learn the basics of a skill before you master it. 
This is very true when it comes to learning a new language. It just means that you need to be patient. First things first. This tells you to prioritize your tasks. Do the most important things first. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Be aware of your limitations. Don't try to do something you know you can't. It's okay to say you don't know. It's better to be safe than sorry. This simply means to be careful. Take your time. It's better to get something done correctly the first time rather than finish a task quickly and risk problems at a later date. The early bird catches the worm. This proverb is similar to strike while the iron is hot. It means to be successful, be the first to cross the line. Do it before everyone else. Birds of a feather flock together. This proverb means that people who share a common ground will usually be more drawn to one another. For example, people who have a hobby that they share or who come from a similar cultural background will be more likely to interact with one another. Brevity is the soul of wit. This phrase means that humor should be kept short and to the point, otherwise it might lose its effect. However, it can also refer to a piece of writing. Just as with humor, writing should be concise in order to best display its meaning. You could use this phrase when a person with whom you are talking goes above and beyond the point that they are trying to make. If that person is attempting to over-explain, you might use this term. A picture is worth a thousand words. This phrase talks about how a visual image can mean a lot more than words. When trying to explain a profound meaning behind a situation, person, or item, you can spend hours trying to describe it with words, and yet a simple picture of the thing can explain it much more quickly and efficiently. All good things must come to an end. This proverb means that the great things in life cannot last forever, and at some point will either fade away or end. It is a phrase which can make us think about appreciating the good things in life, as we will not always have them. Whole books have been devoted to English proverbs, but these are some of the most common examples. Have you studied them thoroughly? Remember, honesty is the best policy.